Yeah, basically the upstream stockfish team changed uh, the way a number of the move generator functions work in stockfish. And that makes it harder for the compiler to optimize things for variants. Um, this gold is kind of floating all the way out here. Normally a silver is a better attacking general than a gold general is. Um, because silvers can dodge if they need to. Silvers can retreat um, out of harm's way. It's harder for a gold general to retreat. So you usually save them until you're ready to checkmate. So maybe Senta's ready to checkmate. How about that? Wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> so I guess what you take from this is don't castle. Just leave the king in the center. You don't even need to give it a name like Fuji system. Like Fuji systems where they push the edge pawn twice and produce a castle but don't tuck the king into it here we just didn't even build a castle i mean we got like some kind of half mino sort of thing going on i don't know but we left our king in the center and we're just gonna prosecute this attack on the right side of the board and it's just gonna win apparently and this has me really curious about like what even happened this game that this could be thought to be a thing. Shogi's not supposed to be easy, but Senta makes it look easy. So either this is all an illusion, or um, we're all missing something. Probably should have okay yeah my mic is on should have checked that hmm. so yeah first Senta sacrifices the pawn on the rook file and now um, does this exchange here. And the point of sacrificing the pawn on the rook file is that at some opportune moment the rook can capture. And if this silver is anywhere other than 3-2, uh, the rook might be able to promote after capturing. Or there might be some other force in continuation. So the silver has to stay put. Um, Bishop takes is risky. But, I mean, every move always entails some risk. Uh, okay. Interesting. I'm so confused. Oh, the other thing I see is that our pawn is still here. Oh. I'm sorry, our pawn is still here on 7-7. Seven, seven. So maybe this is some kind of Urashino attack. 
but like what the hell is the gold doing all the way up there? I think Gota was trying to punish Zenta for their choice of opening. Or something just backfired regardless of Gota's intent. It's still interesting to watch the game. So in the background, just taking another look at Stockfish's move generation function. <sighs> what a mess. Yeah, well, I don't even know. Like, for me, it's hard to say winning or losing. What I can say is that Gota's not attacking. Like, if they have an attack, I just don't see it. But, yeah, this looks super painful. Okay, Rook takes Bishop. Now we're talking. Now we can see if somehow... A bishop can be used to create an attack. I'm not optimistic, but um, it's sure exciting for a spectator to try to see if there's anything here instead of constantly running away. Yeah, sometimes you just allow forks to happen if it allows you to have more active pieces afterward. So I assumed that when Gota allowed their rook to be forked um, in exchange for bishop, I assumed they had some kind of square in mind for where to put the bishop so that their pieces would be active. The other thing that's interesting is just how often uh, Gota's name changes color to red. That would suggest that they're distracted somehow. So that's a bit concerning just given how one player is completely roasting the other player. Well, uh, no, I'm, I have it even backwards, don't I? Um, so at least that's consistent with what's going on, is that, like, if you're distracted, perhaps you have a family, perhaps they're preparing dinner, who knows, but, um, yeah, real-life obligations 
um, take precedence over a game. So it's possible that um, Gota is just missing things because they are, I don't know, maybe their computer's forcing updates on them. It could be anything. But yeah, no, this is actually Gota that's distracted, not the player who's producing these super strong moves. So this could be a fair game. If Senta's name were flashing red, I would be concerned. But that's not what's happening. Hmm. Yeah, I just get the sense that something was missed. Uh, like Gota's attack is just kind of uncoordinated, unfortunately. They did manage to grab the lance in the corner, and that might prove useful at some point in the future. But um, it's not looking good right now. Yeah, I think Senta's last move was a bit hasty. Like, unless there's a mate here, I would not have taken that gold. Because what is a gold going to be used for here? Oh, this is the mate that I was missing. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a pretty real threat. So the king can no longer defend the 2-3 pawn, and therefore rook takes 2-3 uh, is a real threat um, in this position. And the problem isn't so much that you're getting a bishop, it's just that like the entire castle has collapsed. So the king's got to run away from that threat, but then you have this threat instead. So yeah. With the king having run out of the castle, now some sort of inner position to block the check is forced. Um, thankfully this at least gains a tempo. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you couldn't block with that piece because of the checkmate. You have to block with the lance instead. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, how the hell does this happen? What opening do I have to play to just crush a wand on? Yeah, so they played this kind of funky castle. What's the move? Okay, gold 5-2. Or 5-8. You just crisscross all the generals. This is so strange. So we built some sort of Yagra shape in the middle of the board. With a really slow move ordering. And what's Gota been doing this other entire time? I've been so distracted by Senta's moves. Um, Gota pushed a pawn. And has almost built Boat Castle. And decided that they don't want to build a Boat Castle, but now they want to build something else. But they didn't really build it. 
and is this some kind of new meta where you just give away the pawns next to your king? Okay, so this is half Mino. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, they went through all the time to build this. And they retreated their bishop. So they're down a move. Yeah, so... Normally to complete this castle, you'd be playing moves like um, this pawn advance and this silver move. Uh, however, that's not happening here. Um, what else? Yeah, so, like, they've given up this right side of the board. They've given up the center. And this push on the left side is super slow. Alright, so they do complete this part. At this point point this might be the least important part of the castle but it's still good to use the gold general in some way this bishop is so dead um and this king is so trapped yes yeah, so offering a bishop exchange makes sense here this king is in such hot water i would just start to run away and it's going to be painful for a very long time, but you might survive this and get to play another game. Instead, yeah, like everything collapses. Okay, we're going to look at another game. I can't think too much about what we just saw. Oh, this is a cute little castle, isn't it? I wonder if these players have been playing on another server where they've come up with these openings and then they just brought the openings back to the server to see how people would react to them. That's fun to think about. Interesting has different meanings depending on who's saying the word. Okay, what? Wow. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that this sort of pawn drop on 6-4 is the sort of thing that a strong player would do. Uh, as an amateur here, I'm looking at, like, hey, I would love to get this rook moved up and promote it. Because it really looks like there's going to be a breakthrough in file 6 or 8. 
終了。But、uh, no rook promotion for Santa today. Instead, now they have the bishops. And maybe that can help them attack somehow. But also, Santa forgot to castle. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, this has to land before pawn 6 3. If pawn 6 3 promotes before this happens, then there's a pawn drop at 6 9. But now, Senta has to react to go to threats.、Um, hmm. Maybe this was the plan all along. I don't know.、Mm. Senta sus. <laughs> oh, I would not have taken that rook. This is not the right time to be exchanging pieces. On the other hand, this is going to be exciting for us to watch. Yeah, I would have done this instead of taking the rook. This looked very strong, but now. Now that Gota has both the knight and bishop to attack with, looks pretty scary for Senta. So. Yeah. We'll see if I was right. Where is the bishop going to land, I wonder? That, by that I mean Gota's bishop. Maybe there's nowhere to put it. Maybe by some miracle, this is all fine. More likely, Bishop 9 5. Seems interesting. Hmm. The silver on 2 2. I guess I'm going to start calling that castle with the silver on 2 2 2、uh, silver coffin. It's just. That cuts off the king's escape in so many variations. Okay, what is the meaning of this move? Yeah, I guess there were only two options there. One was pawn takes knight, and the other is the move played. There seems not to be a checkmate here. As much as we would all like to see a checkmate, I'm not seeing one. So the threat is Rook takes gold.、Uh, but I think we just take the knight. No, I'm sorry. We... Okay, yeah, this. Which I'd suggested earlier is finally possible. And the dragon's kind of useless in the corner. I think Gota's unhappy.
終了うんThat's a nice checkmate. Okay, well that was... Apparently that's what happens when you just leave your silver on 2-2. Two -two. Um, and if Senta manages to attack you before you can move it off that square. And how did they... How did Senta find time to pull off this attack? Where was Goethe's slow move? There must have been a slow move somewhere. Oh, well, for one thing, I mean, yeah, this is sensible. I mean, worst case, you're giving up a knight and a pawn and have to retreat home with your tail between your legs. But this might have been a fine opportunity to try to castle. There's probably opportunities earlier. 